Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. We're back with some big news about the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra and more exciting updates from Samsung's lineup. The Samsung Galaxy S25 family, which officially launched today, is powered exclusively by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset worldwide. Initially, Samsung had planned to use its own Exynos 2500 SOC in some markets, but due to yield issues, it had to scrap that plan. Interestingly, the Exynos 2500 is now expected to power the upcoming Galaxy Z Flip 7 instead. Now, let's talk about next year's Galaxy S26 series. A new report suggests that Samsung is making a strong comeback with the Exynos 2600 SOC. Pre-production is running ahead of schedule, with test yields already surpassing 30%, which is a promising start. If all goes well, mass production of the Exynos 2600 will begin in Q4 2025, and it will be ready for the Galaxy S26 launch in January 2026. The Exynos 2600 will be built on Samsung's cut edge SF22 nanometer process, offering 12% better performance, 25% improved power efficiency, 5% smaller chip size compared to the previous 3 nanometer SF. 3 process Samsung's system LSI division is fully committed to avoiding the delays that plagued the Exynos 2500. If another setback occurs, it could cause a major financial loss for Samsung's non-memory business, so they're pulling out all the stops to ensure the Exynos 2600 arrives on time. Shifting gears a bit, let's talk about the Galaxy A36, which has been making rounds in various certifications and leaks. The phone was just certified by the FCC, confirming its support for 5G connectivity, Bluetooth, and NFC, Wi-Fi. One of the most debated details is charging speed. The FCC lists it as supporting 25-watt wired charging, but another certification last month mentioned 45-watt fast charging. This could be due to different test conditions, meaning it might support 45-watt charging, but only with the right charger and cable. As for the specs, the A36 is rumored to launch before the end of March and could feature AMOLED display, 5,000 mAh battery, triple rear camera setup, and Snapdragon 6 Gen 3 processor. That's a wrap for today's tech chat. What do you think about Samsung's return to Exynos for the Galaxy S26 series? Are you excited about the Galaxy A36? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. The tech chat is over, and I am out.